Good evening. It's been a long and difficult day. Tonight we have uh, Commissioner Phelps, Secretary Coop. We're going to give you an update of where we've been through the day and where we think we are now. Our focus throughout the day has been on the safety of our correctional employees. Will continue to be our focus. I've talked to their families, and as you can imagine, it's been diff very difficult for them as well. We have put all the resources that we have to bear to get our employees out. And with that, I'd like to bring Commissioner Phelps up and then Secretary Coop to give you a status. Good evening. I'm Secretary Robert Coop of the Delaware Department of Safety and Homeland Security. And as the Commissioner detailed, uh, after that first activation, the Delaware State Police responded uh, and also started to provide resources. We reached out to our federal partners, the FBI, who are also contributing to this investigation and the ongoing release of our staff members that are inside. If there's anything that we can offer as far as uh, answering questions, we'll try to do that. As you know, it's an ongoing investigation, so we're going to be very limited in what we can tell you. So initially what was reported to the press was that we had five staff members that were being held hostage. Uh, that number has been adjusted to four. Uh, one of those staff mem members just uh, shortly be before we came here uh, was identified as um, doing well. He was not a hostage. Um, he was assigned duties there that day or today, um, but he was located in a different part of the prison because we were in lockdown. So that takes us to four staff members that were held hostage. Two have been released, so two remain hostage. Uh, as far as the inmate status uh, regarding their release, at this time, the investigation is ongoing, so we don't know the dynamics of the takeover, and we don't know the dynamics of if any inmates were held against their will or if these inmates simply requested to be released and were released by whoever is in charge for the inmates. Are we communicating with them? Yes, we are, sir. And we're communicating with them right now through a radio uh, that was a correctional officer radio, and that has been the main form of communication today. Uh, what I would point out is that the, the inmates in this building do have access to television. Um, so they may be watching this uh, broadcast live at this time. Um, so that's a, another form of communication that they have. What would you um, like to tell them if they're watching? We'd like to tell them that we want to resolve this peacefully. 